I would just post a quick uh, MetaZoo update and then do a little short video on how much money can you make on TCGplayer.com selling singles. So let's jump into it. First of all, my uh, MetaZoo spell book and event release deck are going to be here Friday. Friday, so I believe that's tomorrow. They'll be here tomorrow. We're going to break them open on the... Uh, on the channel and hopefully we don't get cursed with a reverse hollow in our spell book i've actually seen somebody in a video open a spell book where they got a full hollow so i do believe that the uh curse of the reverse hollow in the spell books is over so let's let's cross our fingers for a hollow in our spell book tomorrow um the booster box i ordered at the same time or around the same time isn't going to be here till monday but it's shipping from chicago so i'm kind of hoping it'll be here saturday um that's it for the metazoo update now i want to jump into how much money can you make on tcgplayer.com and uh the short answer is that i have made $858.21 on tcgplayer.com um, since the 19th of um, November. So let's just, I think it takes two weeks for your payment to get initiated. So let's say I started November 1st. It's now halfway through uh, December. So in the last month and a half, I made $858.21. Okay, now this is what TCG Player took in fees. They took $123.59 in fees. And then I had $159.97 in refunds. So my total payments for the last month and a half is $596.20. Now, all in all, I sold 44 cards. So if we take $600 and divide it by 44 cards, we'll get the average of how much each card was that I sold. So each card was worth about $14 after fees and taxes and whatnot. Um, I know that $90 of that $600 was from selling one Forbidden Droplet from uh, Brothers of Legends. So that made up a good portion of it. I think a lot of the the ones I sold were just V cards, like $1 V cards. I sold a whole lot of those, so it kind of brought down my average. But anyway, $600 in a month and a half of selling some of the singles I didn't want. Um, that's enough to buy a case of booster boxes, so you can make some all right money on tcgplayer.com. <clears throat> I don't know if I have any tips for you guys um, to get you started. The only thing I can say is that when I was getting started, I followed... Uh, Danny Phantom's advice and I priced my cards at 40% less than market value and they sold really quick. Um, but now I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you always go 40% under market value because you could just be cheaper by a penny or by a few pennies and you can sell your cards pretty quick. So I guess my one uh, takeaway from this video, if you take anything away from this, is that when you're selling your cards, try to sell them for as much as possible. So like maybe match the lowest market value and then lower it by a penny or something so that you're the cheapest card. And then if it doesn't sell within an hour, think about lowering the price a little bit. And then if it doesn't sell within six hours, then definitely lower the price. And if it doesn't sell within a day, then I would say go ahead and maybe try the 40% price point. Um, but if you're still not seeing it sold within a couple days, then I would actually raise the price back up to um, market value.
because somebody somebody might buy it eventually um and they are probably going to buy it from you if you're the lowest price card and you don't necessarily need to be 40 percent lower than the next guy um when you're selling those slower cards um so that's it you all thank you for watching the video today and i look i'm looking forward to open some metazoo with you guys tomorrow peace